is Heather Mambretti. I'm a physician assistant working in rheumatology for the past 13 years. And today we'll be discussing the safety profile of cerulimab in the setting of polymyalgia rheumatica and rheumatoid arthritis. When I talk to my patients about safety profile on cerulimab, I like to remind them that we have 10 years of safety data collected for this medication. We have seven years of trial data, including safety information in the setting of rheumatoid arthritis clinical trials. And we have three years of data coming from the PMR trial, SAFR, totaling 10 years of cumulative safety information gathered on this drug. So that gives them, I think, a level of confidence that this is not necessarily a new therapy. We've been utilizing it since 2017 in the setting of rheumatoid arthritis. Arthritis, and since 2023, when it was approved in polymyalgia rheumatica, I do talk to patients about the fact that we have to screen for infection before we initiate cerulimab, including tuberculosis, and we have to deal with latent tuberculosis treatment, certainly before we initiate treatment with cerulimab. In my patient populations who may be at risk at a baseline because of underlying comorbidities like diabetes or COPD, I do cautiously screen that, and I talk to them about the increased risk of infection especially in those patients who are prone to serious infection. In the event of an infection, I ask them to hold their cerulimab, treat the infection to completion, and then once they are resolved of any infection, then resume their dosing of cerulimab. I also discuss the most common adverse effects reported in the clinical trials for cerulimab, and that included neutropenia occurring in approximately 15% of patients, most of which was transient but was reported. There's also 6 to 7% of patients reporting leukopenia. We saw constipation patient in a small percentage of patients, rash, fatigue, and myalgia in a small percentage of patients. And in around 5% of patients, we did have reported injection site irritation or itching. And then in a small percentage of patients, less than 5%, we had serious infections that were reported. The other thing that I would like to compare and contrast in terms of cerulimab safety profile with for patients is just to put in perspective that, yes, cerulimab has risk profile that we need to be aware of and monitoring for. However, usually in our patients, with PMR, they're on a moderate high dose of corticosteroids and having difficulty coming off of those. And so I like to remind them comparatively of the risks that abound in the setting of high dose corticosteroids, including uncontrolled diabetes, hypertension, osteoporosis, risk for fractures, cataracts, other cardiovascular disease. So when we're talking about the risk of cerulimab versus the risk of corticosteroids, I often put those in perspective and compare and contrast that for patients just to give them a little bit more of a kind of a background information when we're looking at reducing their overall risks. For patients who are started on cerulimab, I do also go through the safety monitoring requirements. Typically, that is an annual TB screening. Practice variation is there geographically throughout the United States, but typically it's an annual TB screening, as well as obviously monitoring continuously for any occurrence of infections and adjusting treatment if needed. I also also tell patients that within the first four to eight weeks of starting cerulimab, we will do some monitoring lab work, including a CBC and a metabolic panel, looking at paying close attention and looking for neutropenia or any changes in terms of hepatic function. And at the three-month mark, I'll repeat CBC, metabolic panel, as well as lipid monitoring. And again, at the six-month mark and do that Q3 to four months as we continue therapy with cerulimab. So I set that expectation up for patients from the beginning. Thank you so much for listening. And if you have more questions or you want more information, please do go visit the RAP website or download the RAP app.